What do you mean I shot five looks all over town? I took a six. I put you down for an eight. Never mind about your eight. I took a six. I'm showing you. Oh, don't you remember? Uh, 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 you, we went to Brown and Company and they took eight. What are you talking about Brown and Company? I took a six. Those were the six you sold to Miller and Company. Listen to me just a minute. We were on the green. Green and Company took three. Listen. We was on I the green. I want to see you. <laughs> me, sir? Not you. Not you. I mean you, Johnson. Oh, you want to see me, sir? I did, but I don't want to see you anymore. You're fired. Oh, yeah? What for? You know what for. Thought you could put something over on me, did you? Had your wife working as my secretary, when you know perfectly well it's against the rules for any man to have his wife working in this organization. I fired her, and you're through, too, so go get your time. You imagine that fellow? Oh, it's terrible. Uh, by the way, Mr. Roos, uh, who's getting his job? Not you. Where were you on the third? 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 I was in a bunker. Bunker? Uh, uh, bunker Hill. Yeah, Bunker Hill, yeah. nice little town. Yeah. Come into my office, Earl. Down. Yes. Errol, I'm promoting you. Thank you. You're taking over Johnson's territory. Miss Richards, send out a general notice to that effect. What is the full name, please? Uh, Leon Errol. I want to thank you, Mr. Bruce, and I, I'll do the best. And the address, please? Huh? The address. Now, see here. Uh, see here, is that Road Street or Avenue, and what is the number? You know where we live. What have we been paying you, Errol? But, uh, 
Six, 75. Mm. I'll give you $10 a week more. Miss Richards, make a note of that. Oh, I won't forget that, Mr. Bruce. You'll have to make a sales trip in the morning. I want you to familiarize yourself with Johnson's territory. A lot of things I've got to talk about, but I'm too busy now. We'll have to get to them tonight. I'd like you to catch a 615 train and get you out to my house about 8 o'clock. Arrow! Sir! Yes, sir? I want you to take the 615 train and be out of my house by 8 o'clock tonight. Well, this is all so sudden, sir. I'd like to talk it over with my wife. Uh, my naturally, wife. naturally. Bring your wife along. She and Mrs. Bruce can get together while we're talking business. Yeah, but I thought... That's that... all right. We'd be glad to have you. Yeah. That's all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Errol? I'm awful, awful sorry, sir. All the excitement and things I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, that's quite all right. I was going to buy a new hat anyway. Yeah. You'll do nothing of the kind. He'll buy you a new one. Won't you, Errol? But, uh, <laughs> well, I had that in mind. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's the matter? Did you get the gate? No, but I can feel her swinging. Who do you think is in there working for the boss as his secretary? Probably another nifty blonde. Nifty blonde, nothing. My wife. <laughs> it's all right, pal. I won't give you away. You don't have to give me away. He told me to be out of his house tonight and bring my wife with me. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm going in and telling the truth. I'm going to tell him everything. Oh, well, then you and John can go job hunting together. Sure. Huh? See, I never thought of that. Now, what am I going to do? Say, the boss has never seen my wife. What's I got to do with it? Just this. My wife's a good... Shh. My wife's a good sport. You take her with you this evening as your wife, who's going to be the wiser? You mean your wife as my... You think she'll do it? Leave that to me. Hurry up. By the way, Miss Richard, you better come out to the house tonight and take some notes. Do you mind? I'd love to. That's fine. Then you can ride out with me later. Get Jack Carson in here, please. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, darling, I've got to go now. The boss wants me. Uh, uh, Leon will be right over and tell you what you have to do. Uh, goodbye, darling. Uh, oh, boy. To it. You're all set. Thanks. Uh, you don't know what you've done for me, pal. Okay. Carson, you will take over Errol's job. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Think you can handle it? Handle it? Say, I've got an idea that'll increase business 200% in that territory. Is that so? Well, you can take that up with Errol tonight. Tonight? Yes, we're having a meeting at my house. Uh, oh, uh, What's the matter? Are you married? Married? <laughs> no, sir. Not me. Oh, well, that's fine. Then you can ride home with Miss Richards and me. Hello? Uh, just a moment, please. It's for you, Mr. Carson. Uh, for me? Who's calling? Your wife. Uh, my wife? <laughs> <laughs> My wife. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> Carson speaking. Oh, yes. <laughs> Leon's on his way over right now. Yes. Uh, goodbye. My wife. <laughs> that was Mr. Errol's wife. Mr. Errol's wife? Is that so? Well, now we can get down to business just... By the way, Carson... You know Mrs. Errol? Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes, indeed. Very well. Tell me, what is she like? Oh, uh, very much on your type. Thank you. You know, uh, charming. Oh, I'm most anxious to meet her. Mother. Yes, dear? Mother just phoned. She isn't feeling very well, so I think I'll run over and see her. I'm sorry. I hate to leave you and your new secretary like this. So nice to have met you, my dear. Thank you. Come along, honey. I'll show you to the car. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Uh, 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 uh. I won't be very late, Robert. That must be Errol now. Excuse me, dear. <clears throat> what a lovely place. What a train ride. I beg your pardon. Well, oh, Mr. Bruce. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Carter. I mean, uh, my wife, Mrs. Arrow. How do you do, Mrs. Arrow? How do you do? If you'll go in there, I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Just make yourselves at home. Thank you. I will. I... Ah, uh, Well, here we are. <laughs> Had the dog on his time trying to... Say, what are you doing here? Never mind about me. Who is that woman? Oh, shh. 
That's Mrs. Carson. Jack asked me to bring her out here. I was just thinking, my dear, how charming your secretary is. Yes, very attractive. Well, second thought, I think I'll remain here instead of going to Mother's. Ah, getting jealous again. Now, now, this is business. You run along and hurry back. Bye-bye, dear. Goodbye. A likely story, so that's why you've been keeping part of your salary every week and lying to me. Oh, sweetheart, why do you oh, say don't that? Don't sweetheart me. Listen, darling, listen. Harold, the guest, sir. What's the meaning of this? Well, I, 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 I Mr. My, she, she had a coughing spell, and I was just uh, patting her on the back. Yes, so I noticed. I'm uh, sorry, Mrs. Errol. What? Uh, Mrs. Errol? I'm sorry, Mrs. Errol, that Mrs. Bruce had to leave so suddenly. Perhaps you and Miss Richards can get together and do a bit of chinning. I know how you women love to talk about hats. How about it, Errol? Oh, yes. <laughs> My wife loves to talk about hats. Don't you, honey? I mean, uh, don't you, sweetheart? Yes. Well, uh, Errol and Jack, now let's get down to business. Now, in Cleveland, I believe we should be doing a little better business with Downing and Company. Don't you think so, Errol? I certainly have. I did do. Do you know? And in St. Louis, I think we'd promote a little better feeling between the uh, jobbers there. In New Orleans, of course, that's a new account. Then in uh, Atlanta, there's a matter of discount there that has to be taken up. And here we are in uh, Akron. Now, there's a count that really must be looked after. Well, that's settled then, but I'd just like to read some very significant reports regarding the territory. Here's St. Louis off 24, Cincinnati off 19, Cleveland off 26, Youngstown off 15, Akron off 24, Piedmont off 16, Arcadia off 20, Beaumont off 27, Lincoln off 12, and Hamilton off 30. Uh, Hamilton off 30. Well, I guess that'll be all for tonight. And there you are, Errol. <coughs> yeah, here I am. Well, one o'clock already. I had no idea it was that late. My goodness, how are you people going to get back to town? That's the last train tonight, and my wife has the car. But there's only one thing to do, and that is put you up here for the night. There are plenty of guest rooms. No, no, no. Oh, don't worry, no, 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 I'll tell you what we'll do. No. We'll walk back home. What do you mean, you'll walk back home? Do you realize it's a good 65 miles? Ah, it doesn't make any difference. I always take a little short stroll before I go to bed. A little short 65-mile stroll. <laughs> don't be silly. Come along. I'll show you to your room. Uh, <laughs> Well, good night, Wes will do us all a lot of good. <clears throat> well? How are we going to sleep? <laughs> sleep this way, or that way, or that way. I don't care how you sleep. I mean, where do you think I'm going to sleep? With your husband. <gasps> I never thought of that. Listen, we take the rooms he assigns us, and after he's gone to bed, we just switch. Simple, isn't it? You certainly are. That's what I was telling you. Huh? Come on, go right ahead. He's where I am. Yes, sir. Right ahead. Yeah. I think you'll find all the things you need in the room. This will be your room, Miss Richards, and I hope you have a pleasant night's sleep. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Now, let's see. Good night, Mr. Errol. Good night, there. Uh, good night, sir. Uh. Good night. Good night. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bruce, uh, wouldn't it be better if the ladies shared a room? Leon and I could... Are you trying to break up Mr. Errol's home? I should say not. Carson, I'm afraid you don't understand us married men. Uh, Come along. Don't you think? No, I don't. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Carson, this will be your room. Good night. Good night. Narrow, you and your wife will have this little room down here. But I think you'll find that the sun will be your only disturbance. Well, uh, go right ahead in there. Go right, right ahead in. That's, uh, oh, say, uh, Mr. Bruce. Well, uh, uh, would you mind if I went downstairs and got myself a nightcap? I just... <laughs> Can't sleep without one. Night cap? Yes. Well, certainly. I'll get one for you. Thank you. I... Honey, sweetheart, this Leon, it's me. This I come on, sweetheart. Let me in. Carol! Uh, who did that? Oh, hello. Are you aware you're a guest in my house? Well, I was, uh, my wife locked the door on the inside, and I was trying to get in the in room. But that's not your room. This is not my room. Your room is over there. Oh, I think it's confusing. I don't know how it... That's very funny. Mm. Here's your nightcap. And that was... Uh, well, say, listen, when I said nightcap, I was referring to one that, you know, that burns all the Oh, down. I see. Well, I'll get one of those for you and Mrs. Errol. Come along now. Yes. You'd better get into bed and get yourself a good night's sleep. Remember, you have a long trip ahead of you in the morning. Oh... I'll be right back. Get out of here. Uh, you can't stay in here. All right, all right, all right. Wait till Bruce goes to bed, then I'll sneak down to my wife's room. I certainly won't wait. I'm going to join my husband. So that's a better idea. Listen, you see my wife down there? Turn her back here, will you? Oh. Jack, 
Jack, it's I. Open the door, dear. I want to come in, honey. It's all right. There's no one around. Hello, darling. Come in. Mrs. Arrow. Don't you think it'd be a good idea if you got your wife and stopped this nonsense? You mean my, you mean my yes, wife? Yes, I know about you and your wife. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Bruce. That's all right. I'll talk to you about it in the morning. Oh, yes, sir. Now yes. get your wife out of that room. Yes. Good night. Good night. Honey, honey, sweet. Listen, come here, dear. Come here, I look. It's all over. Bruce is wise and he's going to... Talk to me in the morning. Well, I won't. You, huh? I'm going to see an attorney in the morning and name her as correspondent. And Mr. Bruce will make a perfect witness. Oh, witness. Say, listen, I'll have you. Oh, no. Honey. Honey, sweetie. Oh, good cookie. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Harold, you and your wife are the most brazen people I've ever had in my house. Hey, you, and you, as soon as my wife gets back with the car, you're leaving. Don't you want to see me in the morning? No. I've no. Mr. I've, Bruce, may I see you? Yes, Miss Richards. Let him in a moment. <laughs> Mr. Bruce, you probably wonder what this is all about. I'd like to... Yes, you'd like to get some sleep. Of course, Miss oh, Richards, no. I understand. And I can assure you I'll attend to that right now. What was he doing here? What did you tell him? To oh. oh. I meant to tell you that just as soon as my car arrives, we'll be rid of them. And in the morning, I wish you would make out their checks and mail them. Oh. I want to tell you how much I appreciate everything you've done for me, Mr. Bruce. Oh. Uh, first, let me get this off my chest. Yes, my dear. And then we can talk about checks. Oh, we'll talk about checks and everything in the morning. Now, let's get some sleep. Oh, you're being awfully sweet about this whole thing. Robert! Yes, dear. Uh, well, uh, hello, dear. What are you doing in here? I was just, uh... So I see. You might at least have the decency to blush. Well, I think I'd better leave. And she can leave with you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not on your tootin'. No, sir, not with my wife. Your wife? Yes, your my... wife. Yes, she's my wife. Oh, yeah. You see, it's his wife. Just how many wives has he? <laughs> oh, you mean the little lady that came with me tonight? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, that's my first wife. And uh, Mr. Errol just called me in here to discuss a little matter of business before retiring. What, discussing business under the bed? Uh, how about that? <laughs> well, I can explain that. You see, my wife is very nervous in a strange bed, so I go under the bed to assure her. Uh, sometimes she makes me sleep there, too. You see, dear? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. Come, Robert, dear. Yes, darling. That was mighty quick thinking, my boy, but you better get your wife and get back to your room. Yes, sir. I'll fix everything in the morning. Go on. Yeah, but uh, she is my wife. That's a good story. Stick to it. Yeah. Out the bed. Yeah. I'll be right back, honey. I'll be right back. Your wife's in here. She is? She is. Can you imagine that? Good night. Good night. What do you want? The boy. Stop! What the thing? Stop yodeling. Oh, come in. Miss Richards, I think you'd be more comfortable in the room down at the end of the hall. But I'm quite comfortable yes, here. Yes, but I insist, Miss Richards. My wife will show you. Well? Well, I eventually got rid of old Drizzlepuss. He's the nosiest guy I ever saw in my life. Move over, honey. Move over, sweet. Good night, honey. Had a good. Oh, gosh, I'm glad to be with you, sweet. Errol! Don't answer him, honey. Don't answer him. 